As the novel coronavirus disease cases continue to surge through Africa, amid what has been labeled as the fourth wave, Kenya continues to record an increase in the number of COVID-19 infections. Now get this, from a low of 1% positivity rate at the beginning of this month of December to a current high of 16.3%. This, of course, coming after the number of new infections rose to 943 in the last 24 hours. And as the Ministry of Health now focuses on containing the virus by pushing for COVID-19 vaccination amongst the population following the detection of at least three cases of the fast-spreading Omicron variant, the country joins the list of other African nations that will now have to meet new stringent travel requirements to enter the United Arab Emirates. Kenya has been witnessing a surge in the number of cases for the last one week. The health ministry statistics show a steady growth over the week, up from 149 cases on Monday, representing only 6.5% positivity rate to 16.3% positivity rate after 943 cases of new COVID-19 infections were recorded within the last 24 hours out of a sample size of 5,787. In the latest data by the Ministry of Health, Nairobi takes the lead with 585 cases. Kiambu follows with 120, Nakuru 56, Kajado 25, Kisumu 13, Kericho 12, Mombasa 11, Kakamega and Nyeri recording 10 cases each, with Lakipe and Busia 9 cases each. The increase in the number of cases comes at a time when the Ministry of Health announced the detection of at least three cases of the Omicron variant that has been labelled highly transmissible. And while the Ministry asked for more time to conclude genomic sequencing of further samples in their hands to ascertain the spread of the variant, calls from health officials for the government to change strategy to increase vaccine uptake are mounting. And the most important way to have everybody vaccinated is to make them understand, educate the Kenyans to be vaccinated. The other thing is that when you are forced to do something without understanding, many a times you will always not do it. But ask Kenyans to, uh, to get out and be vaccinated because it is important for your health and for the health of everybody that you interact with. Despite the government having run the COVID-19 vaccination program for 10 months now, myths and misconceptions continue to hinder vulnerable populations from taking the COVID-19 job. Others are saying they will, uh, they will not function sexually. Others are saying they are... Uh, they will become sick and all sorts of things. Others are fearing side effects. Only 12.5% of Kenya's adult population has been fully vaccinated, that being just 3.4 million people. Another 5.1 million have been partially vaccinated. As the Ministry of Health banks on COVID-19 vaccination to tame the spread of the virus, detection of the Omicron variant in the country has seen Kenya listed on red alert by the United Arab Emirates. This means that any traveller from Kenya to UAE will now have to meet new tough travel requirements to enter the country. The revised rules, which also covers travellers from Nigeria, Rwanda, Ethiopia, Burundi, Tanzania and Uganda, among other countries, requires travellers to have a negative COVID-19 test obtained within 48 hours and a rapid PCR test at the airport within six hours of the departure. The National Authority for Emergency Crisis and Disaster Management and the General Civil Aviation Authority also requires those coming from these countries to the UAE on transit flights to have a negative COVID-19 test obtained within 48 hours and a rapid PCR test at the airport of their main point of departure within six hours of travelling in addition to another rapid PCR test at the transit airport before being allowed to enter the UAE. Rakel Mugai, Citizen TV.